In this video we are going to see how we make, how we carry on a statistical study on a variable. In this case the variable is going to be the number of children per family. The number of children per family is a quantitative variable and inside quantitative variables it is discrete. Quantitative because it can be measured with numbers and discrete because not all the numbers are suitable for this variable. We may have zero children per family or one ch child per family or two children or three children or four or five but not nothing between one and two. It's not possible having 1.5 children per family. So that's why it's discrete. So I have put here the data, we call that XI, zero, ch uh, zero children, one child, two children, three children, four, five, and now we should uh, do the collection of data and then we will find some parameters, the mean, median, mode and range and we will see the, the meaning of those parameters. So, first of all, the frequencies come from the collection of data. So imagine we ask a number of families and we get that, uh, we find out that there are three families, that's the frequency, the frequency that we uh, with which we find this data. So there are three families with no children. Uh, five families with one child eight families with two children, six families with three, for example, three families with four, and two families with five. Now we add all the frequencies and this would be the number of families we have asked. In this case this is 27 families. 27 families is a number that we call n, which is the sample size, the sample size, the number of families we have asked. Now we are going to find another column, which is the data multiplied by the frequency. So we simply multiply 0 times 3 is 0. 1 times 5 is 5, 2 times 8 is 16, 3 times 6 18, 4 times 3 that's 12 and 5 times 2 that's 10 and now we add all these numbers in the column and that is 61 61 is what we represent with this symbol. The sum, this symbol means sum of the data times the frequency. The sum of the data times the frequency. And now we are going to find the parameters of this statistical study. So in the first place we have the mean, which is the most common parameter in statistical studies, what you may call as so the average, the average of a statistical study, which is found by dividing this by n. So we divide the sum of the data times the frequency divided by n. So in this case it's 61 divided by 27. 61 divided by 27, which is approximately, in this case, 2.26 2.26 That's the average number of children per family which of course it doesn't make sense having 2.26 children per family but that's an average as an average it does make sense it doesn't make sense as, a, as data but, but it makes sense as an average the median is the data in the middle of the distribution. So if we have here 
27, 27 data in the middle of 27 we would have um, 14 14 the data in the 14th place would be in the middle of the distribution 27 is an, if, uh, an odd number so 14 is exactly in the middle because there are 13 below and 13 over 14 so we count here 14 3 plus 5 that is 8 plus 8 is 16 so 14 is inside here one of these families with two children is gonna be the median so the median would be 2 and the mode the mode is easy the mode is the most repeated number in this case is 2 2 is the has the highest frequency so that's the mode 2 and the range the range is uh, the dispersion of data so from the lowest to the highest so in this case we would say from 0 to 5 from 0 to 5 we can say it's 5 but I rather say uh, from 0 to 5 because it gives us more information from 0 to five children is what we have found the data we have found in our survey and these are the parameters we are gonna deal with this year and the frequency table for our for um, discrete quantitative variable